Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the Madden cheese as always. Got an offensive tip video for you guys today. Today I'm going to be going over some tips and tricks to make you guys a uh, better offensive player. And it's not just going to be money plays. I mean, I know I put out a lot of money plays. I put out a lot of glitchy stuff. One play touchdowns, all that stuff. That's not really what offense is about. Uh, and that's not really how I play my offense. It's just something you kind of have to have in your back pocket. So I'm going to go over that stuff today. Uh, other than that, though, if you like these type of videos, you like these gameplay video breakdowns, uh, do me a favor. Let me know in the comment section with the like button. I really appreciate that. Like, shares, comments, all that stuff really helps out my videos. And if you like what you see, make sure to stick around by hitting the subscribe button. I also want to let you guys know with all the promos dropping, uh, if you guys need coins, make sure to check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com. Use discount code MONEYSHOP for 5% off. Link in the description below. Now, the first tip is to set up your audible plays. This is something that you should do for just about every formation that you use. Um, it's really simple. You just want to make sure you have a good variety of coverage beaters, whether you want to have a couple of man beaters, a couple of zone beaters, cover two, cover three, cover four, have some run plays in there. You want to make sure you have a good variety so no matter what you're looking at, when you come out on offense, you have the ability to switch over. You also want to make sure that you pick a fifth play that's different than the four plays in your audible so that you have five plays to choose from. Now, in the first play of offense, I think it's best to typically pay to see a play. That's basically take something easy, take something, a check down, an easy run play, just so you can see your opponent's uh, defense, the defense they're running on the first play. Because the defense they're running on the first play is typically going to be their favorite defense throughout the game. Or at least one of their favorite defenses, one of their most used. On the next play, I'm already trying to set up a cover two, one play touchdown. Uh, it shifts into a cover three though um, you're going to see throughout this particular game he's going to run a lot of cover three so the next tip be throw it away no nope. throw it away all you got to do is push in the uh, the right stick and uh, you'll throw it away just make sure you're outside of the box it's better than throwing an interception like i do on my next play here uh because i forced it yeah. so you know that's definitely making the situation where as you can see now my opponent's basically in the driver's seat inside uh of my territory to start the drive the next thing is frustration there's so many times on offense i know i'm on defense right now but if you make decisions based off of frustration it's usually going to be a bad decision. I don't typically man blitz, but you can see I do here, and it, it works out luckily on that play, but I've had a lot of times running that play gets me burned. But a lot of times this game is about controlling your emotions, and frustration is definitely a bad thing uh, to have. And you got to remember, your opponent's going through the same things as you are. As you can see right here, he throws it up into double coverage. That's probably a frustration nope. decision, too. That's probably him forcing it. All the same things. So when you're playing defense, you really have to look at it from that perspective as well. Uh, now in the next play on 4th and 14, he goes for it. Gotcha, we get an interception set in his back. Uh, we would have got the ball right about the 50 there, uh, which would have been better. So on the offensive side, I mean, we're still struggling. We don't set our feet on this throw. Every time you throw the ball, you have to set your feet. I mean, I have a wide open guy, but since I don't set my feet, it's way off. It sails, and sure enough, he gets another interception, all because I'm throwing a little bit hurry with bad timing, and that's where we're getting in the position where we're at. And we go right back to being frustrated again as we go with this all-out man blitz, uh, which, like I said, doesn't typically work. It's not a very good run defense because there's no safety help. And you can see our frustrations cost us on the defensive side. Kind of cost us on the offensive side as well. So then my opponent's going to cap it off here. I mean, he just basically gets a nice fall animation. Damn it! And he's into the end zone, take a 7 nothing lead. So I got to play smart. I mean, I can't let the frustration keep dictating my plays. Although I think on the very next play I do. Because uh, ultimately this play is all about timing. This is a good cover 3 beater. But I could easily went to the Y route. I could have went anywhere. Instead I throw it a little bit early to the B route. And sure enough, we get an interception off of the tip. So he's going to, you know, he's in the driver's seat right now. He's inside my 40 again to start his drive uh, on the next couple of plays. I mean, he's hitting with some man beaters, some crossers. Uh, he's got his offense working. I mean, he's, he should be nice and calm. There's nothing. I'm not doing anything to threaten him right now considering he's just been in my territory all game. If you can see, though, he is uh, fitting in some tight windows. He's definitely getting some favorable animations early on. As that guy was like quadruple covered, but he still caught it. Uh, and then on first and goal, he's just going to hit me with another run play, uh, which, you know, he's trying. He's running a very similar offense to what I'm going to run out throughout a lot of this game as he punches it in uh, on the very next play. So on the offensive side, I want to start hitting some big plays. I really want to start going down the field because obviously I'm down two touchdowns. But based on the score, it's also probably pretty predictable. So you got to set up your big plays. And if you watch the user here, he drops back about 10 yards, lets me know that he's thinking pass coverage too. So I got to set up 
up these big plays. I got to basically pull that linebacker forward with some different type of run plays and some play action. So we switch over. We hit him with a, with a bubble screen. It's a cover three beaters. We run a lot of cover three. Uh, so that's something that's going to definitely steal underneath here. On the next play, we watch that user one more time. He drops back, but then he immediately comes forward. It lets me know his instinct is still to drop back. So I'm going to hit him with that screen one more time. Like I said, still a cover three beater. We're doing our best here to try to suck him forward. And we also want to look predictable. If we make him think that he knows what's coming, that's what's going to make him shoot down the box even more. And it's going to set this big play. So here you can see he doesn't move back at all. Then when we start the play, we hit him with the play action. Sure enough, he's sucked in. Now we got a wide open lane to throw this ball. Set our feet this time, which is something we didn't do the first time. And we got a nice, easy throw for a very very big chunk play right over the middle uh, which you know took two plays to set up but you can see how important setting up these big plays are so on the next couple of plays when we take a sack on that play he's user rushing quite a bit but then we see he's in a cover three so you always have to watch that previous play uh, when people have success they're going to go right back to that when people get stops with a certain type of defense they're not going to go away from it now on the next play i'm going to try to get a few yards back because i know i'm going for it so i want to at least get a couple of yards back try to get half of it back to make it an easier fourth down version doesn't really work out there but i tried on the very next play i'm going to go to one of my money plays you always want to save your money plays for when you need them most so i'm going to go with my middle high low which is a play that really works against just about any defense i'm expecting cover three it's a really good cover three play but if i would have ran this a bunch of times throughout the game he would know exactly where i'm going to go with the ball he know what to expect and he would cover it since i haven't run it at all it makes it even easier he has no idea what's coming so we get a really easy touchdown there based off of the fact that he hadn't seen that play before so you really have to save your money plays for when you need them most you can't and use them and use them and use them it just makes them easier to defend so on the defensive side we get a big stop on the first play knock him back second play he doesn't get much so we're going to play the clock game we're going to call a timeout we're going to try to get the ball back we're going to try to score again before half the most important thing after the score itself is the clock those are the mo two most important things when it comes to winning games in madden and you can see on this next play we get an interception so he, he didn't have to punt it to us he gave us the ball inside of his own territory and now we're basically just going to go down and try to score once again on the first play you don't have to bomb it up all the time. You can get really big plays off of check downs. You can see right here the running back is wide open in the flat. And we get about 30, 20 to 30 yards on just a simple check down. Just a simple swing pass to the running back. You always have to take what the defense gives you on the next play. It's going to be very similar where, I mean, I'm looking for the one play touchdown, but it doesn't reveal itself early. So I just take the check down. And then we're just getting out of bounds, saving a little bit of clock. But at the end of the day, I want to make sure I give him the ball back with no time. I want to score and give him nothing back. I'm also running my red zone off. You always want to make sure, just like when I needed my money play on fourth down, red zone offense, you want to make sure you have one of your best plays to call uh, when you're in the red zone as well. So this is basically, this entire series of plays that I'm running right now are basically some of my favorite red zone plays. Uh, as you can see right here, I'm going to hurry up. I'm not going to call that last time out. I'm going to save that. And then we're going to hit him with a crosser here. We're going to get in uh, for an easy. And like I said, it's a lot of short routes, a very good passing scheme inside the red zone. We get the touchdown. So on the other side, he gets the ball back with very little bit of time. He's going to have to force it up uh there's nothing really going to be there so we're just going to go ahead we're going to we're going to intercept that we're going to get the halftime gotcha, uh, because like i said we left him no time on the clock so there really wasn't any time to work and do anything he basically had to force it up so second half he has ball i mean we've had a lot of success stopping these screen plays you can see right here he, he, a lot of these uh running plays to bo jackson we've kind of knocked him back um, he hits me with a lot of these drags as well. I mean, I'll let you take those short yards drags. You're not going to get much there. And ultimately, that only gets him back to a third and ten on the next play. I mean, I love this defense. Gotcha, this defense gets so many turnovers. I'll put a link in the description if you didn't catch any of these defensive videos. I definitely have uh, some serious, serious success with this defense. Then on the next series, I'm going to hit him with some run plays. Like I said, I'm going to start small. I'm just going to hit him with some easy stretch uh, stretch bubbles. You can see he's still chasing the bubble. And then when you're having success like this, you got to do it till they stop it. I'm getting 10 yards of carry every time. I'm going to do this until he shows me he can shut it down. On the next play, though, he sends like an all-out blitz, and he does get the stop. So at that point, I'm going to change it up. But I also see that he's running a pinch buck out. He's running a lot of uh, man blitzes. People like to repeat success. I've said this before. He's going to do the exact same man blitz again. He's been running that a lot. So I'm basically just going to make my uh, user adjustment, make a hot read here, and basically hit him with this zig route. And the second the play starts, I mean, I have an easy read for an easy touchdown as we go right back and we score and take the lead so we're up now up a touchdown uh my opponents i mean the momentum is completely out of his sails he hits me with i mean right here i just do a bad job of using so he hits me with a first down uh but i know at this point i mean he's going to start forcing the ball down the field a little bit more than he has in the 
past because once again it's all about frustration on the next play he throws it up i probably should have had an interception there that's another frustration uh, decision right there to throw that ball up when there's really nothing there and now on the next play i mean i was all over that he's still throwing into coverage at this point like i said he's forcing it it's just a matter of time uh before he forces it enough that he makes it a bad decision and we're going to get an interception like we do on this next play gotcha, bitch. as we get a rare appearance from dante jackson one of the fastest players on my team i mean he's going to take it to the house he could go all the way super easy uh we're going to score a touchdown return on that one and he's going to go ahead he's going to call it a game he's going to pull the ripcord uh, hit the eject button but you can see the difference between how i reacted being down two touchdowns early 14 nothing and he reacted being down just a single touchdown he started to throw the game away so things like that are very important i'm gonna go ahead and end the video there if you guys like this video want to see more videos like this do me a favor hit the like button learn, or let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out if you need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below